I roasted your guys' setups two weeks back, however long that was. I thought it's only fair that I, in turn, roast my own setup, right? My mother found a video on a USB, an old USB she found in her house, and it had this video on it that we'll be reacting to today. It's my 25,000 subscriber special. I think I did like a very brief setup tour, and I thanked them, and then other stuff. But I thought we would just watch it to get today and react to it. I think it has copyrighted music in the background, so I might be like cutting around a little bit, but I will try my best. Um, it is a cover though, so I don't think it'll be like, this video won't be taken down. It'll just be like shared revenue, which I'm fine with doing, so. Be warned, I was, I'm 13 in this video. This was seven years ago. I'm a little cringy, so just keep that in mind. But I love her, so don't fucking come for her. Anyways, let's get started. I'm so nervous, okay. Welcome to my zen zone. <laughs> I hope that shows you what we're getting ourselves into here. This is my office area. I got a soda mini fridge. And here's my sweeter. I have a cyber- Okay, first of all, that mini fridge. Love that mini fridge. Still love that mini fridge. I don't have it anymore, sadly. I'm about to say what PC I have and I'll tell you something fridge. afterwards. And here's my sweeter. I have a cyber power gaming PC. I have the exact same PC still. Uh, all I've done is upgrade the RAM and the fans. I need to get a new PC soon. Um, I've had it for seven years-ish now. Um, so I was 13 here. I'm turning 20 at the end of this year. So it's been six, almost seven years. Um, I think I recorded this like right after getting the PC. The PC has been really good to me. Um, it struggles sometimes, but she a trooper. She a trooper. She's been doing great. I love her. Love her, but like, she, she's holding on. She's no lassie now. If you're wondering what I'm fiddling with, it's a cat toy. The cats keep running through here and I have this just in case. Anyways, I have a better keyboard now. I have a nice Razer keyboard now. Snowball mic, great beginner microphone, but gosh, do I have a much better microphone now. And I still wanna upgrade from here. So like, I'm still upgrading my setup and it's funny to see like, I have the exact same monitors that I did in this photo. I technically have the same speakers, but I do have my new speakers. I literally recently got new speakers and they're in the closet. So I need to get those hooked up and stuff. Um, but like almost everything's like exactly the same. Like I have the same webcam. I just know how to use it better now. Overall, the setup is like, Still what I use. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good setup. Looking at baby Jamie's setup and like like the mini fridge, the table's pretty clean. No coaster for the cup. You guys know I love a coaster. Um, I had a deal of slime and a jar that I made. Um, is there another angle we see? One of the coolest things I've been able to experience while having a YouTube channel is receiving fan art from my subscribers. Fan art's the best. It is so awesome to be able to see how talented they all are. You guys are so talented. And to think of that person spent time to make something for me. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I agree, baby Jamie. In my editing system right now, which is Shotcut. And there's one. I used Shotcut as my editing software at the time. Sorry that I'm like kind of mumbling in this old video. Um, I was very nervous filming in front of people. And as you can tell, like my mother is recording this video for me. Um, and so I was nervous uh, talking on camera in front of someone. Shotcut was my old editing software. Wow, he's creepy as hell, Jesus Christ. I now use Movavi. Um, Shotcut is a great free editing software. Highly recommend it for a starter, uh, for starting up editing stuff. Um, Movavi is my favorite editing software I've used besides maybe, gosh, what's it called? It's the big boy editing software. It's the best editing software. I was able to use it once because I edited for my church at one point and they had it. I don't remember what it's called and I don't remember what it was, but it was the best editing software I've ever used. And one day I will get it again, even though it's like $300 or some shit. 10 years from now, I'll do it. I'll be so so amazing, I can afford it. I should make a video of my setup tour now to react to in seven years. <laughs> I actually just came across the footage that it literally took me like 12 takes to get a scene corrected. It didn't take me 12 takes. I remember this, it took me like four. I exaggerate. 
We know this. Scene one, take one. Let's get this party started. Scene one, take three. I rarely take other takes anymore. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm a first take and done type of a gal. I'm gonna take multiple takes if I don't know how long the lines are or if I don't have lines in yet or if I'm um, not sure how I want to see the scene. Nine times out of 10, I've done been doing this for so long, I can just get it in the first take. But at this point in time, I was still figuring out how to do cinematics. So it makes total sense why it took me like four or five takes. Definitely didn't take me 12 though. That's a little fibby, fibby, fibby nonsense. <laughs> For those who don't know, my birth name is Jamie. I go by Izzy mainly nowadays, especially online. Um, the only people that really call me Jamie is like my family and like Gabe occasionally. Um, but yeah, if you go, if I'm gonna be calling myself Baby Jamie because this 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 version of myself I don't feel like is Izzy. She's Jamie. Oh, uh, I said that way too early. So this is actually my. Uh, okay. Mm. I don't like this. I don't like all the things stacked, the boxes. I don't like all this. Demerit. Um, I would give my setup as of right now, I'd give this setup a six and a half out of 10. I think it's a really good beginner setup. I don't think it's bad. I think it's just a matter of, you could tell I didn't really know what to do with the setup. I also have like a folding table as my table. Nothing wrong with that, but just like, I feel like I've definitely improved, but definitely my setup is still not a 10 out of 10. So like nowadays I'd probably say I have like a, an eight, an eight out of 10. This is like six out of 10. I don't like really calling my subscribers fans as much as they're really just family and friends at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I definitely had a little bit too much of like a parasocial relationship with my subscribers at one point. There's something wrong with calling your subscribers fans, audience, subscribers, followers, whatever you'd want to call them. Um, this was my old Discord chat. It had like 500 people in it at one point. I don't know how I kept it up. Um, I have a conjoint one with my boyfriend now. And uh, it has a little under 300 people. And so that's like more manageable. But like it was a really big thing at this time for some reason to like call your subscribers fans. It was like, oh, you don't see them as real people. It's like, no, I see them as real people. But like, I don't know them personally. Now, the besties that be in chat in my live streams or in the comments and stuff like like them, I actually get a little bit more sense of like who they are. And I'm like, yeah, you guys are my buddies. But, like, not in a creepy parasocial way. In a, like, we look out for each other type of way. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. People are really funny on here. One time I actually joined a call and everyone started screaming. Because they didn't expect me to join it. That, okay, so you can tell how self-conscious I look when I'm talking about that. Let me dive into that real quick. Let me dive into that. Focus on me, Jesus. Let me dive into that real quick. Okay, so my mom was in my office when I was at this point in my my life. And um, I said, oh, let me join this like voice call real quick on my server and stuff. And it was the first ever time I joined a call and people like freaked out. It's the first ever time that happened. And I was so... Like, I was like, I made it. Oh my god. And this, I think, would had happened just like the week before I filmed this or something. It was definitely around this exact same time period. And so it, it was very fresh in my mind. And I was so, like, proud of that. But this was, like, the beginning of me getting very self-conscious about what I did online. Before this, I was so much more confident in myself. Uh, but this point in time, I was incredibly self-conscious. And But I was really proud of, like, oh my god. Like, people, like, really think... I think of me in like a like oh she's a youtuber type of light not like oh she's a girl who makes youtube videos does that make sense um and my mom was in the room when it happened and she was like oh my god like you're you're kind of famous i wasn't but i wasn't and i'm still not <laughs> but like it was a really cute moment between me and my mom my mom was the one filming this video and so like you can tell i'm a little self-conscious to bring it up but i think my mom told me 
like, you should talk about it and, like, be proud of it and stuff. Because my mom is so supportive. Both my parents are freaking, I love them so much. They're so supportive of everything I do. They've always been so ride or die with my uh, interests and passions. And so she was like, you should, like, talk about it. Like, be proud of it and, like, be like, oh, yeah, like, people, like, really like what I do to the point where when I joined a call in my own Discord server, people freaked out. Like, <sighs> Nowadays, I just don't, I don't really talk about that kind of stuff. Um, but like, you can tell I'm very like embarrassed of the fact I'm talking about it in this. Um, but there's nothing wrong with talking about it. It's just a matter of like, it's more so I feel like the second hand of like what I felt in that moment. And I was like, oof. Like I get totally why my mom was like, you should be proud of that. But in that moment, I wasn't, I was, I should have just been focusing more on like being a 13 year old who just likes to make content online rather than like being famous. Does that make sense? I guess, I don't know if that makes sense to everyone. With the life path I've walked, <laughs> it's definitely been strange with like adjusting to certain things in my life including being known on the internet and stuff. And I think it's a good thing that I stepped away for my mid teenage years because I feel like those are kind of some of the most crucial years of your teenage dumb, um, really solidifying who you are and your opinions and stuff like that and how you see the world. Um, developmental stages, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was, that was definitely a really cool experience. And now I can talk about it more and be like, wow, that was like the first time that happened. That's really cool. Um, now, Occasionally when I join the call, there's like one or two people that will be like, oh my god, hi! Oh my god, I didn't- hi! <laughs> like, they'll be really excited. Um, and I think of it more as like, less of like, oh my god, they freaked out when they heard my voice? Like, when I joined the call, I'm so cool. But it's more of a fact of like, oh, that's so sweet that they think I- like, they- they look up to me like I look up to other creators. Like, that's so cool. I- I'm really happy that I'm put in that light because I'm always gonna try to do something good with it. I hope, I hope that makes sense to you guys. Anyways, let us continue. Then something unexpected happened. And um, apparently the UP UPS man is here, so you're gonna get an introduction from my dogs. They're gonna sing you a little song. I'm pretty sure it's um, your merch. What? Your shirts. We can actually film it. Do you wanna film it? Can we open it? Now? We could. Do you wanna do that? Okay, we'll, be, we'll come back to this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ha ah, ha, okay. <gasps> okay. I need to breathe. <laughs> so this was my first ever time having merch. Um, I have the same box of leftover shirts. So basically I did a, I talked about this very briefly in a live stream I did recently. It's the, a quick thank you live stream. I talked about how I did like a conference and I was the youngest speaker to speak there. This was like that same time period of my life. Um, and I got these to sell at that deal. Um, and um, I sold quite a few shirts. I made, I made my first ever income off of this kind of stuff. And it was really fun and really cool. And I still have leftover shirts from that that I'm I'm wanting to like because I haven't done another in-person event So I have no reason to have like the physical shirts because normally I do um, Fully online retailing stuff where it's made and then sent directly to you guys. It doesn't go through being in person with me I'm not that big of a of a Creator in that space, but I have I have these physical shirts still and I want to sign them and sell them at some sort of in-person meetup if I can, or give them away at some in-person meetup and stuff. I gave some to my VAs. I just remember this being a very, really cool, really strange part of my life. Um, I hit 25,000 subscribers, that's what this video is for. My merch came in that same, like that same like couple days. I was the youngest speaker at the conference. I joined that chat and people freaked out. It felt like I was like on an upward hill to being a famous youtuber and then it all kind of fizzled out and I think that's why this world is so special to me now and I take it at such a pace of like I have the one year plan going on right now that I briefly talked about in a live stream as well recently or a couple weeks ago for you guys um, watching this video and that was really cool being able to kind of put that into put that out so that if it happens the way I plan it to, I have like something to look back onto, if that makes sense. 
um, she had a lot more optimism and goals than I do currently. And I'm trying to fix that. I'm trying to give myself more optimism and more ambition. Um, I was known for being overly optimistic and ambitious as a uh, early teen. Um, and I'm trying to get part of her back, I guess. So it's like really weird watching this at this point in time. It's like very strange timing for my mom finding this video, you know? Mom finds this video as I re-hit 30,000 subscribers and am doing the one-year plan. It's just like, it's cool synchronicities, for sure. For sure. It's the o I only like drama and role plays shirt. <laughs> Perfect. I love oh the God. color. Yay! I'm so excited! <laughs> okay. Um, so those wristbands, my dad actually still has one of those in his work truck. He has it on the um the like blinker deal. He has he has it on there still. I didn't think this was gonna be an emotional video. What the heck? Uh, That's perfect timing. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have chosen to record that otherwise. It's really cool and eye-opening to look back at when I first started. Wait, when I was okay. So, oh, this is really cool actually being able to see everyone. Erica was one of my amazing VAs as well as an amazing supporter. Um, so was Highlight Cat. I hope Monka's doing good or Mocha. Um, I hope Mocha's doing good. I hope all these people are doing great. This is crazy. Okay. I mean of having this many subscribers and dreaming of- Oh, I thought that these clips were gone forever. So that's the headset mic I'm referring to. Anytime I say my first setup was a headset mic that I stole from my dad, that's the headset mic I stole from my dad. Having merch Tube tycoon. of all these- The fact that one of my first- Oh my god, I was so little. The fact that one of my first ever videos was YouTuber Tycoon, I think is just so funny. We should play that on stream sometime soon. That would be so fun. Things that I can say are happening right now in my life. <sighs> and it's really a blessing that this happened. I've worked so hard and to see it all panning out is really, <laughs> really awesome. I'm so grateful for how everything has turned out. Oh yeah! <laughs> is there anything else in here? Is that just the outro screen? Okay. Wow. Okay. I didn't expect that to be so heavily filled with things. Huh. Wow. Well, a sincere thank you for you guys that um, are part of this journey. Re regardless if you've been here since she was running the channel or if you just got here yesterday um or anything in between i appreciate you guys more than you realize and thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything and let's let's just do some cool stuff let's do some cool shit go check out one of these videos if you liked this video because you might like some other videos i've made <laughs> anyways i'll talk to you guys later